Uh, hello YouTube! Uh, today I want to talk about this uh, new edition in my uh, collection. So um, it's uh, Lee 101 S. So what caught my attention uh, right away that this is a button fly uh, construction. So we'll get to this later. Uh, and uh, but before I start, I want to. Uh, you know, inform you guys that the Lee website constantly making, um, you know, uh, kind of a disinformation because, you know, it states that this is a regular feed. It's not a regular feed right away. So, first of all, S is for the slim normally, and uh, it's a slim uh, feed. And on the top of this, I later discovered it's more like a slim tapered feed. Uh, but we'll get to the feed, you know, uh, a little later. So let's talk about, you know, this particular pair. Uh, let's talk about denim first. Um, so I um, kind of like never had like Lee 101s uh, with Buttonfly. I do like the Buttonfly, kind of a classic style, like a Levi 501s, of course. So, and that's the reason I got it. So, like I said, I was kind of a, uh, a little disappointed with the fit uh, because it's a little low rise for me. Uh, but um, uh, let's cut to the chase. So it's a beautiful denim. I think it's this one one line, mostly Kaihara denim. It's, uh, you know, let me just unfold it. It has a nice kind of like a uh, vertical uh, streaks, like a little kind of like an e-cut uh, vertical texture, which I like a lot in the denim. It, it, it you know, it means that this is like sometimes unevenness in the thread and uh, it would create like pretty nice uh, fades you know i want to show you maybe later um you know um so this is uh let's see it has here lot number 89 you know left hand twill and um so it does not stay in the kaihara but most of this line the 101 lines from kaihara denim we have for reference, I've got this older pair of uh, Lee 101 Z, and this is lot 49 here. So this is left hand 49 lot, so it's it's a little different. Uh, and this is, we, we're gonna go back and forth sometimes because I wanna compare, the, this is a five years old Lee 101 Z, so just in the comparison, because some of you guys maybe might have uh, the Z model. So anyway, let's get to the S. Like I said, the denim is very nice. This is in dry finish and Sunfire is 100% cotton and it's made in um, Italy. It's crafted in Italy. There's a label inside, I'll show it to you. The Selvish ID is white. You see this is white edge. Pretty nice, nice chain stitch here, you know, uh, with walk back, like they say. Uh, you know, it's pretty nicely done. Uh, the inside, inside seam is, uh, is, you know, goes double and there is overlock and there is a double stitch inside, as you can see here, I'll show you the stitch. You know, one is orange and one is a dark, uh, kind of a dark blue, which is hard to see. Uh, so, and outside the selvage, it's, of course, it's a single, single stitch from outside. So the denim is beautiful I and mean, it's actually, you know, um, it's, 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 like I said, has this a little vertical texture, pretty nice and crisp weft. Uh, you can see through, uh, I think if you guys gonna wear it, you know, you, you would create a pretty beautiful face. Uh, I kind of like it overall when you just write, open the box, out of box, it looks great. So the, uh, let's talk the hardware, like, let me see. So this is another nice touch. I put like a short video, so, in, you know, uh, I was gonna show you guys, um, which I like, this is a pretty nice touch, kind of like a golden uh, color buttons. Uh, you can see a um, pretty nice copper, traditionally button. So this is pretty, you know, as you can see, Pretty beautifully done. So all the chain stitching uh, along the belt and inside. I do like this quality of this lining and the pocket lining and it just nice. It's kind of like 
there is maybe a little polyester, but it feels like more like a cotton, pretty, pretty nice, I think, and most of the lace is uh, done the same way. And uh, let's, uh, let's get to the back of it. It's, it's a, you know, five belt loops. Uh, belt loops actually three inches is slightly larger than um, than I have on the Z model. The back pockets it's pretty small. Mm, I'm gonna say this is more like um, uh, in late 70s, kind of a smaller size because if I compare to let's say to Z model, it's a little bigger here as you can see. Uh, but uh, as a traditional the lazy S uh, stitch and uh, there is no, uh, like I said, there is no rivets, it's a rivet less. It's uh, an X stitches, you know, just X, uh, uh, you know, stitching here, like a Bartox. And we have inside, which I love, always love this Lee. Uh, it's uh, inside lining in the back, in, uh, in back pockets which is really, really nice because if, you know, if you have a hole or something, it's not gonna fall through. Uh, in fact, like happened to my old jeans, I accidentally tore this hole, but there is a lining, which is pretty nice and beautiful. Uh, so uh, I really love, and there is of course the embroidered Leo logo here. So the leather page is beautiful as well. They always do nice leather pages, which is my favorite part of Lee. It's just, uh, you know, very thick, almost like a two millimeters, like with, a, you know, the stamped logo, uh, beautiful jack run. Um, so what else? I think we pretty much done about the construction. Um, so the rivets, it convex. And also they not, they're not scratches, they're not sticking out like a Levi's. I really like this Lee convex style uh, rivets, as you can see, uh, beautiful like a copper. Uh, yeah, uh, overall it's, I have no issues. I mean, it's a beautiful quality. So the only thing is, let's talk the fit. Like I said, this is not quite what I expected. Like I said, they stated it's a regular fit, it's not a regular fit. And uh, so it's more like, as you can see, I don't know about the camera angle, as you can see, it's much more tapered, uh, probably too close to seven inches, but we'll, we'll get to the measurements now. And also what to me disappointment is the also Lee, uh, how many times they return, because sometimes you buy and it's not what it states on the Lee website, because it has information that this is a mid rise, it's not mid rise, it's a low rise. In fact, it's pretty low, and let's get to the to the measurements. Um, let's do the front rise. You know, I could tell just visually, it's low, and it's ten inches even, which is pretty low for me because I like when a front rise about 11, 11 and a half, even twelve. I'd rather have like I would rather have it on a, like on a on a high. Um, you know, but 11 and 0.5, it's, it's a perfect for me. I don't like when like sitting too low, but again, for those, for those of you guys, and I know the younger people love the kind of like a low rise and more like a skinny stuff. It might be, you know, great, great pair of jeans for you. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to talk you out. So, okay, this is a 10, uh, the hips and oh, sorry, hips, the thighs. Let's get to the thigh. It's 12 and a quarter. And uh, we get to the knee. So, okay, from the center of the crouch, 13 down. Knee would get us to the 8.75. And at the hem, we'll have seven and a half. So, yeah, this is pretty skinny, but again, like it's, uh, you know, I, I'm more into like relaxed fit, more like into 101Z, but again, if you guys like it more like 511 style, that's probably perfect fit for you. I, you know, I would you know, highly recommend. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, put them on, you know, and at the end of this post, I'm gonna put the video how they fit me. So this is size 33, I forgot to mention, and uh, 32 length. 
My size Lee always 33 inches. And uh, speaking of the waistline, let's get, sorry, I forgot about that. It's important to uh, measure the waistline. It's 17, 17 and a half, which is perfect because they were stretched like close to an inch because normally my size is 18 across. So that would be perfect. Um, you know, it's pretty consistent. Uh, my, uh, I was gonna mention my regular uh, Levi 501 size is 34. So, and I'm 5'9", and about like 180 pounds. So let me show you the label which is here. This is a label that says crafted in Italy. So there's a several, the, the latest one-on-one collection, it's actually, um, I got the Z model and 70s, they're all crafted in Italy. And it's, it's, it's beautifully done. There's no, there's no any issues. And um, I think we covered pretty much everything. Oh yeah, about the price, it's uh, from Lee website in US here, and it's a $200 price. I noticed they never have any <laughs> discounts on salvage line, unfortunately, like, you know, LVC Levi does, but it's okay for, if you guys buy it for like next 15, 20 years, it's definitely worth it. And uh, well, thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, like I said, watch at the end of this tape, uh, you know, watch how they fit on me video. And uh, please, um, you know, comment or uh, questions. Uh, always appreciate it. Thank you.